Hey Sarah, how's it going? Hey Peter, I'm good. Thanks. How are you doing? I'm okay. I guess. I'm a little nervous. Actually. I have a dental checkup scheduled for tomorrow. Oh, really? Why are you nervous? I don't know. I guess I just don't like going to the dentist. It always makes me anxious. I know what you mean. I used to feel the same way. But I've found that going to the dentist regularly actually makes me feel better about my dental health. It's important to take care of our teeth, you know? Yeah, I know. I just don't like the idea of someone poking around in my mouth. I understand. But think of it this way. The dentist is there to help you. They can identify any potential problems early on and help you take steps to prevent them from becoming bigger issues down the line. It's much better to catch things early than to wait until you have a serious problem. That's true. I suppose. I just wish I didn't feel so nervous about it. Well, maybe you can try some relaxation techniques to help calm your nerves. You could try deep breathing, meditation, or even listening to some calming music before your appointment. That's a good idea. Maybe I'll try that. And remember, there's nothing to be afraid of. The dentist is just doing their job, and they're there to help you. Thanks, Sarah. I appreciate your support. Hey, Sarah. Thanks for coming to meet me. I just had my dental checkup, and I wanted to talk to someone about it. Of course. How did it go? It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, actually. The dentist was really nice and made me feel comfortable. That's great to hear. What did they say about your teeth? Well, it turns out that I have a couple of small cavities that need to be filled. But the good news is that they caught him early, so they should be easy to take care of. See, that's why it's important to go to the dentist regularly. They can catch things early and prevent them from becoming bigger problems down the line. Yeah, you were right. I'm glad I went. And I tried those relaxation techniques you suggested, and they really helped me to stay calm during the appointment. That's awesome. I'm glad they worked for you. Thanks for all your support, Sarah. I couldn't have done it without you. No problem, Peter. I'm happy to be here for you. Good morning. How are you feeling today? Hi there. I'm doing okay. Thanks for asking. A bit nervous, though. 
I haven't been to the dentist in a while. That's understandable. But don't worry. We're here to help you. So, what brings you in today? Well, I think I have a cavity. My tooth has been hurting a lot lately, especially when I eat something sweet. All right. We'll take a look at that for you. Let's get started with some x-rays to see what's going on. Okay. Sounds good. It looks like you were right. You have a cavity that needs to be filled. It's a good thing you came in when you did. Otherwise it could have gotten worse. I'm glad I came in too. So, what do we do now? We'll need to numb the area with some local anesthesia before we start filling the cavity. It's a quick and painless process, and you won't feel a thing. Okay, I trust you. Let's get started. Great. Now that the area is numb, we'll remove the decayed part of the tooth and fill it in with a composite resin material. This will restore the tooth's function and appearance. How long does the filling last? It depends on a few factors, such as the size and location of the cavity, and how well you take care of your teeth. But typically, fillings can last anywhere from 5 to 15 years. That's good to know. I'll make sure to take care of my teeth better from now on. That's always a good idea. Remember to brush and floss regularly. And come back to see us for regular checkups and cleanings. I will. Thank you for your help today. You're welcome. Take care and have a good day. Hi there. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing okay. Just a bit nervous about this dental appointment. How about you? I'm feeling the same way, to be honest. I haven't been to the dentist in a while and I'm afraid of what they might find. Yeah, I know what you mean. I had to come in for an emergency filling last month and it was not a fun experience. Oh no, that sounds terrible. What happened? I had a really bad toothache and I couldn't eat or sleep. Turns out I had a deep cavity that needed to be filled. It was pretty painful, but the dentist did a good job of numbing the area and the filling feels much better now. That's good to hear. I'm actually here because I think I have a cavity too. My tooth has been hurting when I eat something sweet. Ah, I see. Well, at least you caught it early. It's always better to take care of these things sooner rather than later. Yeah, I agree. I just hope it's not too serious. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
I'm here for a routine cleaning and check up myself. It's always a bit uncomfortable, but it's important to keep our teeth healthy. You're right. I'm definitely going to start taking better care of my teeth from now on. I don't want to go through any more dental pain. It's never too late to start. Just remember to brush and floss regularly. And come in for checkups and cleanings every six months. And if you do need any dental work, don't be afraid to speak up and ask for pain relief. Thanks for the advice. I'm feeling a bit more relaxed now. No problem. We're all in this together. Let's hope for a quick and painless appointment today.